Abba, my father. Welcome, good day and hello to silent time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Do you call God your father? We know well that by ourselves, by our human nature, we do not deserve to be children of God. We have a sinful nature, no matter how good or relatively good or relatively bad we are. We all do not deserve his grace, but it does not count what we are or what we do. Relevant is what Jesus has done for us and what he still does for us. He has won the victory on the cross, and that makes us children of God if we put our trust in him, no matter how much we achieve or keep any laws or whatever. Important is what Jesus has done for us, and that makes us his children. He has come into this world so that we also may be the children of God. And then, of course, we can call to God to be our Father. But if we don't call to him, then what makes us call to him? It can be the challenges in our life. The pains and the sufferings, the trials, they make us to call to God and to ask him to help us. In Galatians 4, Paul explains verse 4, but when the right time came, God sent his own son. He came as the son of human mother and lived under the Jewish law to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might become God's children. And then verse 6, to show that you are his children, God sent his spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit who cries out, Abba, my father. So then you are no longer a slave, but a child. And since you are his child, God will give you all that he has for his children. Lord, we thank you for that privilege that without any achievement, we can come to you. You have done everything we need. Thank you for your great love. No matter how we are, how relatively good or how relatively bad we are compared to other people, important is only what you have done. And we trust in you. We call to you as children call to their parents. Thank you that we are your children, that you have done everything we need. And we pray that you guide us, that you help us to stay close with you because we need you. That you guide us through this life towards your eternal kingdom where we praise your holy name forever. Amen.